Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I can't see if I'm, if I'm recording the right way here. Hang on. Yeah, numbers are upside down. That means it's the right way. I uh, finished the journal that I was working on the other day whenever I posted my video called Working on a Journal or Working on My Journal. And it's not fancy, but I think it's kind of cute. Very beachy themed. Uh, for some reason, uh, because of the paper pool side, I just thought beach. So we'll show you some of the things that I did. Of course, you can see the cover. I uh, I fixed the let's see I fixed the where the sides were cracking. I put I found this sheer blue ribbon. And I put it on there. You can see a little bit of the fabric tack underneath, but I don't think it, it's too bad. I did put my stamp on the back. Um, I found the, some twine that was blue and white, and it was a little tough to get through the holes, but I managed. And I put that sheer ribbon there. But I found these, um, like, pearlescent. They look like pearls, you know, beach, pearls, whatever. And I found those, and somebody had sent me those. They sent me white ones and pink ones and silver ones, but I thought this one looked okay on this journal. And then I did use these. I used a couple of these. And I used um, the Choose to, it says Choose to Shine. And I thought, well, you know, sunshine, whatever. And I used that out of a Tim Holtz um Tim Holtz pack, uh, Small Talk Ideology. So, anyway. This stuff right here that I put back there, that is actually something that I used on a beach-themed bottle, and it's like this. It, it's almost like, it's almost like creep, it, maybe it might be the creepy cloth, but it, like netting, I think it might be the beige creepy cloth, but I thought it kind of looked like fish netting. So that's why I put it behind there. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Um, let's see, put those out of the way. And um, I sewed the signatures in. I used a three-hole signature, and I got all five of them in there. As you can see, it worked out pretty good. When you do like this, of course, it comes open a little bit. I didn't put any pockets or anything in the front or the back because it was kind of doing the alligator mouth thing. Uh, it does lay flat to write in. I did add to each signature, I added a little envelope and I um, closed it up over the knot that's in the signature. That one's a little bit wonky. I did have a little bit of problem, like I said, getting getting my um, needle through the holes with that and it was kind of ripping. It was a big, a big needle and I knew I'd need it to go through this, you know, that hard stuff. So uh, there's one at the middle of each signature, and it does match the paper at the beginning of the signature. And see, let's see, like that one, like that, and that one gets this one, and that one got one made out of that, and I made it out of my little scraps that I had. Now what I did was, um, that one shows it really good, I had some some of the cord that I had cut off whenever I, uh, I got something on my camera, hang on a second, on my phone front, um, I had some cord, and these were, those were like flopping like that, and I said, ugh, can't stand that, so I just, I used a little bit of that cord and glued it down, and so it goes under the flap, but you can put stuff in there, that is a functioning little envelope, and I used my, um, miniature, that miniature scoreboard? What is that? Hang on. This one. The punch board. We are memory keepers. The little one. And the envelopes are three by three and a half. So oh, anyway, like I said, didn't do a whole lot to it. I kind of like my journals to be functional. Um, I have one that I made for myself that I made years ago out of a book, and I like them to where you can actually write in them, put stuff in them. Uh, this, that little thing was a, you know, that was just a little 
fun thing. Oh, and I did cut one off. Remember I said, oh, I got to get them folded back. I had to go and refold a bunch of them. <laughs> and one of them didn't quite get folded back far enough, and I forget which one it was. But, yeah, I, I, I snipped it off in the cutting process. Let's see where it was. Uh, I can't find it now. I know I did. Yep, I said, well, dang. There it is. That one right there, it got cut off. It snipped a little bit, and I just went ahead and tore it, tore it off. But, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. This is the cover that I made with the, um, it was the box to my, what was it, Folgers Vanilla Biscotti Coffee Pods for my Keurig. That, that's what the cover is made from. It worked out pretty good. And I actually got those signatures in there pretty good. I got a couple of them that are just slightly above, but um, I think it'll be okay. There is a lot of writing um, space in these. Lots of room to write. Um, lots of, there's coloring. Uh, places to chuck little little things. Um, on, on the blank spaces, you can always put a picture. You know, but I, I'm I'm real pleased with the way it turned out, and um, just give me a give me a comment comment. I appreciate a comment and tell me what you think. I wanted to keep it really simple because it started out simple. It started out as a little coffee pod box. <laughs> so that's it. Um, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.